generative search engine technology, where the age-old rivalry between Google and Bing takes on a whole new face as the two powerhouses fight for dominance in the search engine market. Bing has made a bold move to gain the upper hand, investing in artificial intelligence and chat GPT technology. Could this be Bing's chance to finally threaten Google's stronghold on search? Tyler, that intro was written by chat GPT. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think we're, co we're toast. <laughs> <laughs> and it's why one firm is bullish on Microsoft, even though the shares, they're kind of been toast lately. Joining us now is Gil Luria, DA Davidson's technology strategist. He initiated coverage of Microsoft today with a buy rating and a 270 price target. Gil, what's their strategy here with uh, AI? Well, in, in the long term, at the very least, there's an opportunity for them to incorporate generative AI into their Bing search engine. So if you think about Google's market share is about 10 times Bing's market share and probably most of its market value of over a trillion dollars, if Bing could get better than Google by incorporating AI better, there's a chance for a very significant transfer of wealth from Google shareholders to Microsoft shareholders. Although it, it strikes me that it's not so much about making Bing better, it's that ChatGPT itself could just displace Google. We've, we've used it a lot already for just kind of simple, not when you're trying to get an answer sometimes to perform a function. For instance, Google can't tell you, we did a scavenger hunt the other day and we said, you know, make up a clue about um, how it's hiding in a bench behind the laundry and make it rhyme. And ChatGPT gave us an answer. Google can't do that. So should Microsoft just lean into the ChatGPT interface? Why even worry about Bing? Because there's still some things that search engines tradition in the way they are um, positioned right now can do better, like finding uh, fares for flights or hotels and things like that. You have to start pointing that generative AI at the internet. Right now, what we're using with ChatGPT is not online. It's just using old data that it's been trained on. As it gets trained on more and more data, it's gonna get more powerful, but when it gets really powerful is when you actually start pointing at it real online data, and that's when it really starts replacing search the way we use it today. What can chat GPT do, GBT do, that, that, that Google really can't? And, and how is that going to translate into Microsoft being able to scale that enormous hill that, uh, that, that and moat, I guess you, one thing you could call it, scale that enormous hill that Google has created? Chat GPT answers the question you ask it. If you think about what you do with a Google search, you put in a question or a search term and it gives you the places where you may find the answer. That's a longer way of getting to an answer than if you ask Chat GPT a question and get the answer. So that's a really big difference. And if you think about when we started using Google, we switched from- But I may not ask the question the right way. I may ask a bad question or a question that that I think is clearly put but truly isn't. I'm thinking of an example in my life from last night where I, I asked I asked something but I didn't know how to express it. Well, ChatGPT is surprisingly good at understanding what you're trying to ask as well. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect. But hey, Google search isn't perfect either. You could put searches in there and get the wrong response or the wrong pages. None sure. of these technologies is perfect, but ChatGPT cuts you to the answer as opposed to making you look for it yourself. And, th and that's a really big advantage. And one of the points I'd make is Google has modes for sure, but don't forget how easy it was for us to switch to Google from other search engines 15 and 20 years ago, if indeed Bing becomes a better way of answering mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. people would switch almost instantly away from Google search. That's it's not a certainty. Google still has AI technology of its own, but for the first time, there's a chance for this market to be competitive. Very interesting. Gil, let's, I can't wait to see how it plays out. We appreciate your time today. Gil Luria, we appreciate it.